Introduction to scatter plots. Now what we'll do is we will use scatter plot to display the relationship between two quantitative variables. Describe the overall pattern that is the form, direction and strength and striking deviations from the pattern. Example scatter plots, vision and organizational performance. A research scholar intends to explore the relationship between a company's vision and its organizational performance. The scatter plot is an effect plot since the purpose of this study is to explore the effect of vision on organizational performance. Now there are different scatter plots. Now there could be a positive or increasing relationship means that an increase in one of the variables is associated with an increase in the other. So if you increase the vision, the understanding of vision, the better understanding of vision, this will improve organizational performance. So this is a positive relationship. A negative or decreasing relationship means that an increase in one variable is associated with a decrease in other. Let's say you increase the stress. So this will lead to lower organizational performance. And not all relationships can be classified as either positive or negative. So it's neither positive or negative. Then this is another type of scatter plot. Now, for now, we simply describe the shape of the pattern in the scatter plot and linear is the form that we are focusing on. The data points appear scattered about a line. We use a line to summarize the pattern in the data. In the strong relationships, of the scatter plot, the data points closely to the linear pattern. Now this is a strong relationship. Look at the data points. They are too close to the line. Now this is a weaker relationship. The data points are scattered all over the scatter plot. Now these are too far away from the line as well. So this one is a strong one and this one here is a weaker relationship because the points are all over the place. Now this, these are the references that are used throughout this series. Now let's do our scatter plot in R. Now again to do scatter plot in R, again first we will read the data and the data will be stored in this object. So whenever you are reading a data, it will be stored in a data object and this data object here is named data s so the whole csv file is now in this data s object just make sure that it works fine yes it works fine the, all the variables are here and the first six rows are here now how do we do our simplest of the plots so we will use the plot function since it's a function so use parenthesis and this is my let's say x variable and this is my y and i want a plot so these are and this will give me a scatter plot so let's run it let's see what the error is now the problem is there is no composite score so how do we get the composite score let's do vision op these were the variable names let's do average and where is your vision here it is one two three four enter click it now you see this plus sign double click it now you've got the score composite score for each respondent similarly let's do for op is equal to average open op one two three four five press enter select this cell double click and now it is done. Let's save it. Again, what you will need to do is import the data file again. And yet see vision and OP. Now, if you run this code here, now let's run this code and you will have your plot. Here is your plot. So vision and OP. And if we see here, this is your plot. Now you can customize the appearance as well. You can use the call argument to specify the color of the data points, the PCH argument to specify the symbol used to represent the points, and the CEX argument 
to specify the size of the points. So again, plot your x, y, the type is scatter plot, p. Now these are different types. I've got a good resource to learn all these arguments as well. Now the color is red, pch18, cex1. Now let's run it. And here it is. Now you can add labels as well. So to add labels, what you can do is again, X label, vision, Y label, OP, color blue, PCH, these arguments, run it and see all this changes. Now to learn more about plots and its argument, you can use this link. I will share it in the description as well. Now further, you can use ggplot to do your scatter plots as well. Again, if the ggplot library is not installed and you, you are using it for the first time, please install it like this. Or go to tools, install.packages and write ggplot2 here. ggplot2. Select it and then install it. Now once you install it, you call this library like this. Now we will call ggplot function again since a function so we will use parenthesis what is your data data s is my data what are the aesthetics the x is vision 1 y is vision 2 and the geome is point so let's run it here it is here is the scatter plot now if you want to add a line with it you just simply have to use geome underscore ab or ab line the same function with everything the same and here it is much better scatter plot so this is how you can use ggplot for your scatter plot or simple plots in r for a scatter plot just remember ggplot parenthesis open specify the data data then the aesthetics aes function your x is vision your y is op look at this parenthesis close now this second parenthesis is for this parenthesis here then since it's a scatter plot so add a plus sign geom underscore point parenthesis open and close if you want to add a line add a plus sign geom underscore ab line parenthesis open and close thank you very much